sunset lane. Miss an exit, include to the pavement. Between the lines, I'll keep my gate straight ahead as the last stop flies by. No more waiting for the gun to fire. No more walking through revolving doors. I've gone around once.
There was a time, not long ago, when we were curious about everything, about our future. Today, we continue our search beyond boundaries, beyond the limits of what's possible. On to the next chapter of that journey. Xiaomi Mi Mix 2, coming to India on 10th October.
जब Xiaomi best specs, highest quality और honest pricing देगा, तो यही होगा। India's number one smartphone brand, Xiaomi. Welcome to everybody. Uh, a special welcome to everybody who has come all the way to this particular place, this wonderful resort. Uh, usually we do all our launch events in the middle of the city, which is heart of Delhi, usually at our favorite hotel, Hotel Alit. You guys would have attended a lot of launch events over there. Uh, but this time we thought we will do something different. Uh, because today the phone that we are launching is Mi A2. And the best part about Mi A2 is its camera. So we thought we'll bring you to this most wonderful resort in Delhi NCR. Uh, we did this video today morning about this resort. This is actually one of the most beautiful resorts that I've ever been to in India. And we thought we will call all of you guys here. Of course, many of you guys have me A2. Uh, many of you guys will get hold of this device today. And I really hope you can take really beautiful pictures today evening in this wonderful resort. Coming back to, to Xiaomi. So as you guys know, Xiaomi is a pretty young startup. Started only eight years ago by Lejun and few of our co-founders. And in eight years, we have achieved a lot of milestones. But there's one thing that I'm particularly extremely excited about, which is us going public. Uh, this was perhaps the biggest milestone in our journey. Last month, we went public at Hong Kong Stock Exchange. 
Uh, these are founder chairman Lejun in the middle with some of the other board members, our co-founders and other execs on stage. Usually, when a company goes public, there's a bell that you ring. In our case, Hong Kong Stock Exchange had a big gong to play over there. Uh, it was pretty incredible. Many of you guys also traveled for this amazing event. This was the largest tech IPO in the last four years. And I want to thank everybody, especially all our me fans. Thank you so much, guys, for supporting us during this incredible journey. You know, after we started using this term me fans, and we have a bunch of me fans here, a lot of other brands started copying it and started calling their consumers as fans. And we find it very funny. But I believe there's a difference between genuinely meaning it and just saying it. And let me show you how we truly mean or truly appreciate what me fans are for us. This is the picture of Lejun ringing that bell or that big gong. And the person next to him, the person with his hands high up, he is a me fan. He has been a big supporter of Xiaomi over the last eight years. And I don't think there's any other company in the world which would have done something like this, getting a me fan or a consumer on stage when you're going public. I think Xiaomi is the only company which has ever done this. So we truly appreciate what me, me fans are for us. Let's talk a little bit about, more about Xiaomi. So last year, which was the seventh year, 2017, globally we crossed a $15 billion revenue mark. Now, of course, today there are a lot more tech companies, internet companies, which are bigger than us. Companies like Google, Facebook, Alibaba, Tencent, and others. But each of these companies took a much longer time to cross the $15 billion revenue mark. Like Google took nine years, Facebook 12, Alibaba and Tencent 17, and Apple took 20 years. And Xiaomi, only seven years. So Xiaomi is the fastest growing tech company or internet company in the history of mankind. If you look at all these tech companies and look at their last year's growth rate, 2017's growth rate over 2016, of course, a lot of companies grew pretty fast, like Facebook, Tencent, and Alibaba. All of them grew between 45 to 55%. And Xiaomi grew at a whopping 67% year on year. Thank you. Today, Xiaomi would be the number one growing internet companies on the planet and the second fastest company amongst all companies, tech and non-tech. And this has been possible because of a unique philosophy of innovation for everyone, where we try and ensure that we make technology affordable for every single person. In the beginning of this year, we passed a new board resolution where we said we will never ever make more than 5% profit margin on any of our hardware devices. Usually, most of the companies have a lower limit, saying I will not make less than this much profit margin. Xiaomi is the only company which has an upper limit that we will never make more than 5% profit margins on our hardware products. And that's probably why we've been growing pretty fast. Today, we are the fourth largest smartphone maker in the world. And not just fourth largest, but the fastest growing smartphone brand in the world. If you look at the IDC numbers in Q2, we shipped 31.9 million units globally and we grew almost 50% year on year. And we were the fastest, smart, fastest growing smartphone company across the world. We are present in about 70 markets, and in about 15 of these 70 markets, we've already become one of the top five players. Number one in India, number one in Myanmar, number two in Indonesia, even in Western Europe, countries like Greece and Spain, we are beginning to become number two and number three brands. And of course, in India, we have been the number one smartphone brand for four consecutive quarters. The Canalyst report came out, the CMR report came out, both of them say that we're the number one brand. Usually we show the IDC numbers on these slides. Unfortunately, the IDC report for Q2 is still not out. But if you look at the Canalyst report, it says we're the number one brand with about 30% market share. Which means if there are three people buying a smartphone today in India, one out of three is a Xiaomi customer. Last quarter was pretty incredible for us. Uh, we shipped more than 10 million units. Now, this is incredible because not only for Xiaomi, but no other smartphone brand had ever shipped 10 million units in one single quarter. And it's the first time a brand has done this. Every time we come for a launch event, we of course talk about our online numbers, that we have 60% market share in the online segment. And out of the top 10 selling phones in online, nine are Xiaomi devices. 
But there's another piece of our business which has helped us reach this kind of a scale, which is our offline journey. Now, offline we started only about a year ago. One year ago, our share in offline used to be less than 0.5%. And in just one year, it has grown 40x from less than 0.5% to today 20% market share in the online segment. Today, we are present in about 40 markets, 40 cities, and in eight out of these 40 cities, we have already become number one as per the latest GFK report. These are cities like Delhi, Guru Gram, uh, Chandigarh, Meerat, Indore, Ranchi, Bengaluru, and Hyderabad. Uh, big shout out to all our, that our entire offline team, especially our offline team working in Meerat, which is my hometown, <laughs> for making us number one uh, in Meerat. Thank you. And uh, I would again want to thank all our Mi fans for supporting us during this journey over the last four years. We recently completed eight years globally, four years in India, and we celebrated our eighth annual Mi fans. And there were people, me fans who wrote us, thousands of me fans who wrote to us and told their story. For example, this me fan, Hari, he mentioned that he became a hardcore me fan last year when he bought Redmi Note 4, the most loved and the best selling smartphone of 2017. Uh, Shubhajit, he again became a me fan last year when he bought Redmi 4, and then he convinced all his friends and family members to buy a Xiaomi device. And all our Mi fans really appreciate one thing about us, which is our philosophy, innovation for everyone, making technology affordable for every single person. And we believe there's another company which has a very similar kind of vision, which is Google. And we partnered with Google last time to launch an Android One device, which was called as Mi A1. A lot of people really love this device. A lot of you guys said great things about this device. For example, Android Central said, this is one of the best, if not the best, budget smartphone for 2017. Tech Radar said, Mi A1 raises the bar for what one can expect in the mid-range Android smartphones. Uh, let's see what our uh, uh, different people have to say. Uh, sorry, one stat uh, that I forgot to mention. Uh, Mi A1 uh, was one of the top 10 selling smartphones worldwide and was the best selling Android phone ever, period. There have been so many Android phone device, Android One devices launched, and this was the best selling Android One device. So let's look at a small video about what Mi fans have to say about Mi A1. I'm Devansh. I work as a social media executive, and I'm 21. I'm Ashwin, and uh, I'm a 2017 graduate from high school. Hi, I'm Arvind, the Bangalore-based cinematographer, and of course, a Mi fan. Uh, hi, my name is Rachita. I'm right now doing my uh, post-graduation. I'm Deep, and I'm 29 years old. By profession, I'm an engineer, and I'm also part of Bangalore Mi Fan Club. It's got a really fancy look, and um, it's got a fingerprint sensor. So that makes it very easy for me to unlock. And uh, it's got a really good camera, and you don't run out of space ever. The Android One OS, it's a pure Android experience that is very nice. The body and the, of the device is very really slim. The portrait mode on the Mi A1 is so good. The edge separation is so perfect. The low light photography mode, it needs a little improvement. I'd like to see a bigger screen, uh, probably an 18 by 9 uh, aspect ratio. There should be an increase of the megapixel, maybe a quick charging. Uh, I think uh, camera performance in low light. That's the only thing I would want to change about it. Xiaomi. So that was Mi A1. A lot of people really loved it. And here we are. Today we are extending our partnership with Google and we are launching Mi A2. The smartphone with a really great camera using which you can take picture perfect photos. There are three things which really stand out, stand out about Mi A2. First, the design. Second, its camera. And third, its performance. And we'll talk about each one of them. Let's start with design. To introduce Mi A2, I would like to show another short video. 
That's me too. Uh, you would have seen a lot of things on me too. Let's talk about them. The first thing that you would notice about me too is its unibody aluminium design. It has very subtle, discrete antenna lines, which makes it look very beautiful. For the first time, we are also introducing the arc design, which not only makes it look very beautiful, but also very comfortable to hold. And you can have a very sturdy grip with me too. On the bottom side, you will find a very symmetric design and also a Type-C USB. And on the front, you will see 5.99 inch Full HD Plus full screen display. And for all our Mi fans, we also have Gorilla Glass 5, 2.5D Gorilla Glass 5. This is the first Xiaomi phone to be launched in India with Gorilla Glass 5. And it is also very slim just about 7.3 mm. Now, how thin is 7.3 mm? We competed with few other flagship phones like OnePlus 6. OnePlus 6 is 7.8 mm, and Mi A2 is only 7.3 mm thin. We're launching Mi A2 in four different colors, black, gold, very elegant rose gold, and my personal favorite, Mm, we competed with few other flagship phones like OnePlus 6. OnePlus 6 is 7.8 mm, and Mi A2 is only 7.3 mm thin. Mm, we competed with few other flagship phones like OnePlus 6. OnePlus 6 is 7.8 mm, and Mi A2 is only 7.3 mm thin. We are launching Mi A2 in four different colors, black, Gold, very elegant rose gold, and my personal favorite. Three mm. We competed with few other flagship phones like OnePlus Six. OnePlus Six is 7.8 mm, and Mi A2 is only 7.3 mm thin. Mm. We competed with few other flagship phones like OnePlus 6. OnePlus 6 is 7.8 mm, and Mi A2 is only 7.3 mm thin. We're launching Mi A2 in four different colors black, 
gold, very elegant rose gold, and my personal favorite. Making an mm we competed with few other flagship phones like OnePlus 6. OnePlus 6 is 7.8 mm, and Mi A2 is only 7.3 mm thin. We're launching Mi A2 in four different colors, black, gold, very elegant rose gold, and my personal favorite, also very slim just about 7.3 mm. Now, how thin is 7.3 mm? We competed with few other flagship phones like OnePlus 6. OnePlus 6 is 7.8 mm, and Mi A2 is only